All right, so we're going to be talking about WebEx Teams today, and this is the uh, um, telephone number program that was rolled out by ITS last week. Um, this will replace Google Voice. Uh, it gives you a lot of abilities uh, for phone calls, messaging within our system and with outside our system. So there's three ways that you can um, use WebEx. One is on your phone. You can download the WebEx Teams app. Um, the WebEx Teams icon looks a little bit different from the WebEx meeting icon. I'll pull it right over here. You can see it uh, here and what it looks like. It's got a different coloring to it. Um, the same app can be found in the marketplace for your phone, and you can download it and run that on your phone. Uh, you can download it on your computer. My understanding is you do not need tech support help for that. Um, so you can go download that. You just type in WebEx Teams download and go download it from the App Store and um, or from the internet and download it and uh, install it on your computer. Um, you can also um, access it from the browser. Although the functionality is a little bit different, just like in WebEx meetings, the functionality is a little bit different. And I'll go over uh, two of the three, the phone I'm not gonna be able to show you here, but it looks the same or similar to what I'm gonna show you. So uh, this is WebEx Teams. Um, you have a variety of different um, things that you can do with it. Uh, the first one, of course, is the phone right here. So I'm gonna talk about that first. Uh, especially since I've already done a search just to eliminate getting up any kids um, things. So the phone here, um, you can search within our system for anyone's name. So I searched right here, Bill Clark. And if I hit dial, it would call him. If I hit video, it would do a video call for him or down here, audio or video. Um, and I can call uh, Bill Clark within the system or anyone within the system. Okay. You can also dial a phone number. I'm going to type in 8675309 and hit audio and it'll start calling that phone number right through my computer and I can dial up that phone right through my com my my computer. Okay, so you can dial up any number straight through your computer if it's on your cell phone and you're using this program it'll use your cell phone number or cell phone to use this particular phone number that the district's given you. Okay? Everyone got a phone number. Um, there is an extension. My suggestion when you give parents that phone number is you also give them the extension. It'll make it easier for them trying to get a hold of you. Give them the number and the extension, and then they can call you straight through this program. Okay. Now, that being said, if they call you, you'll notice you have a voicemail icon right here. If they call you and leave a message, uh, that would show up right here, your voicemail. So you can get a voicemail here. You'll also see there's a calendar. Um, so here you can see uh, your calendar events. If you've tied your Google and stuff like that, it'll all show up right here, uh, including your meetings. Um, you can start a personal room meeting from right, right within here. So you'll see that you have your personal room and your personal room start a meeting here. And then all your other meetings are here as well or things that are scheduled on your calendar, okay? So you can access your calendar, see what it looks like. You know, I should probably make this full screen, make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. You have your voicemail. You have your phone right here where you can dial up a number or call someone within the system. Uh, you have um, contacts. The contacts will actually let you come in and add a contact. So I can click add a contact. Um, you'll notice uh, I can search people by name or email. So I can add people within the system, but I can also create a custom contact right here, add first, last name, phone number, um, their email, and add them to my contact list. So you could add all of your parents to your contact list to make it easy to contact them um, from this program. Uh, you have chat spaces, and, and these teams and spaces are kind of similar. Um, teams, you can create a team. Uh, the team would be a, a basically a space for that team to communicate. This is a great way for you to create a grade level team. It becomes kind of a chat thing back and forth where you can chat, share, that sort of stuff all within this program. Okay, a way for you to communicate kind of like Google Hangouts all through within this program if you want to use it. Um, my suggestion is you might use this for like grade level teams. 
You might use it for um, uh, cross department teams, things like that. I would suggest that any team that's done at a school site be done by admin or, or originated from them. You also have chat here. Um, chat could just be with people. So you see, I can I can communicate with just with people or within my spaces, which are teams, or you can create a space um, or contact a person. The space is kind of like a team, but just smaller. Might be a space for a couple of people um, just to communicate and talk. Okay, uh, and then you have your profile. Uh, within your profile, you can change your picture. Um, a couple important things here. This is where all your settings are. Um, you have your availability here. You can set do not disturb. So if you're worried about getting called during your teaching, you can come in at the start of that and say, hey, I can't take a phone call for two hours. You'll notice that you get a little nighttime kind of look there. That means it says not available until later on two hours of your time. And you can clear it off later, let people know you're available. Um, so that's a quick way to make a do not disturb. Uh, you can also set a status so you can say, hey, it's lunchtime. I'm out for lunch. Uh, I won't be able to take a phone call right now or, or get in touch with you um, or chat. Um, and you can create your own status. So I can set a new status and I might just call that teaching and save it. That status is, is will be in there for seven days or set for seven days. You can come in now and you'll notice teaching is an option and I can clear the status. That'll stay there for, I think, seven days and enable me to say, yep, right now I'm teaching. That's my status. That way, if someone were to try to contact you or chat with you, they'd get a message that, nope, you're teaching right now. They'd know your status. Okay. The settings is where all of your things can be set for what you want as far as this system to work. Do you want it to start when your computer starts? You can check that box if you want it to sign in and start right away. Um, do you want it to show your availability and statuses? Um, recent sessions you can see your details there your audio this is just like within the webex program um you can choose your speakers your microphone um your video camera which one do you want it to use whether or not you want a virtual background to come up as standard um notifications this would be for messaging and for meetings and for direct calls you can choose what um messages you want, whether or not you want taskbar notifications, these will pop up on your computer, a little taskbar notification if you get a phone call or a message. Um, do you want it to be all messages if you get a notification or just mentions, or do you want that off? You can kind of choose what you want. Um, do you want a sound for messages? You can turn that sound off or say, yes, I want a quick beep sound um, or whatever sound you like. You can choose, I think there's like a couple sounds to choose from, and you can choose which one you want. Uh, do you want um, notification for scheduled meetings? Okay, and this again would be a little pop up and the notification that would occur on your computer. Um, do you want um, call notifications and a sound for that? You come through, there's a number of sounds that you can choose for phone calls as well. Then you can change it, what it looks like, your appearance, got a couple appearances there. Um, it's got a couple other things as far as phone services and messaging um, and meetings, um, things like that, that you probably will not change. Those will probably all stay the same. Um, the one down here though that you might want to use is in calling, you can forward calls. Um, so you can choose like right here, start calls with video on incoming call, or you can say, nope, I just want it to come to audio, or you can have it there for video if someone calls you video. Do you want it forwarded? You can forward it straight to voicemail, meaning that I want it straight to go to voicemail first, um, or you can add in a phone number. So I might forward it to 8675309. I know everyone's that phone will that song is going to be stuck in your head here at the end. But now I have the option to forward all my calls to that phone number. So you could forward your calls to a cell phone number or something like that if you wanted to do that. Okay. Um, so that's in here under the calling, under the settings. Um, <clears throat> and then you can also, there's some other settings you can get to that I haven't even gone to check out. So there's tons of settings here um, and that you can set up the way that you want it to work. Uh, again, you have your profile. 
um, that has statuses. You have your availability, your do not disturb, your settings. You have your chat spaces for people and spaces and teams. Um, teams do show up in the chat as well once a team's created as, as kind of a space or a team space. Uh, you have your contacts, you have your phone, uh, phone number, you have your um, voicemail, and then your calendar all inside here. Now, that's what you should see on the downloadable app and on the um, phone app is, is all pretty similar there as far as functionality. Of course, each phone might have a little bit differences. So I say that with knowledge that my phone has most of this, but yours might be a little different depending upon what brand of phone you have. Um, but then I said that you can contact from the web as well. Um, that is a, um, the right thing, a web space, uh, teams.webex.com is the web space. It'll let you log in. Um, now you'll notice on the left over here, I don't have the same, all the same options. I lose my voicemail. I still have all my chats. I still have the phone, but um, what you will find with this is that you can't make phone calls outside of the system. So you wouldn't be able to use the web page to contact parents. You would have to use the downloadable program or the one on your phone. Um, but then you also have your meetings. Um, like I said, you can call a person so I can come here and start a call or a video with someone within the system, but outside the system, uh, it doesn't quite uh, make that phone call. You'll notice there's no dial here like I have on the um, WebEx team app with the phone. So I lose a little bit of functionality with the, the web piece, but if I'm somewhere where all I have is the, the web, I can still access it um, messages or, or um, not voicemail, but uh, chat messages and things like that and be able to call people within the system. Um, or like I said, you can just download the app to your phone and then dial inside the program using the school district number outside to whoever you wanna call. So that replaces the Google Voice. Hopefully this helps you understand kind of how it works and what you can do with it. Um, my suggestion of course, as always, is download it, go play with it, learn about it. If you have any questions, let your ed tech coach know and we'd be glad to help you out.